Hey everyone, MTAST here, and today I wanted to talk about the Bungie Weekly update because they are completely overhauling Gambit. But they've also said that with the changes they've made to Trials, how they're overhauling Gambit, they want to do these for all of the core activities of the game, or the pinnacle activities of the game. Which is amazing, that's exactly what they should be doing. We've seen changes to the raid where you can get the tokens and, you know, hunt for the things that you want. They've already made a lot of great system changes and they're going further. They've retuned and rebalanced pretty much everything in Gambit and even are adding a freelance Gambit playlist so you don't have to get spawn trapped and murdered by teams that are super sweaty uh, Gambit edgelords. There's going to be more mob and map selection so you're not going to get as bored playing it, which is really good. They've completely changed the respawn system, allowing you to spawn in better locations, whether you're invading or defending, meaning you can't just spawn trap people and use 1,000 voices and just yeet them into oblivion. This is probably going to be one of the best balance changes in the game. Players also only drop half the moats when killed, which means that you're not going to get punished as bad by some crazy invader using heavy. They've reworked the reviving so you can jump to your teammate, revive them, get them back in the fight instead of them respawning automatically and being kind of this weird uh, dance of like, do I do the revive or do I not do the revive? They want to reward you for getting those revives and keeping them in the game. They've beefed up the elemental shields, they've added some time getting onto the bosses, and they've just made it a little bit more about the PvE side of things, uh, and, and attacking enemies as a team, and having it be kind of an epic battle against the boss. Now, they've beefed up the blockers a little bit with the 10 and the 15, but they made one of the best changes in-game, in my opinion, Moat Drain is paused if a player is actively engaging these blockers and trying to uh, clear them. So you can't just be sitting there watching your moats go down even though you're trying to fix the problem. Maybe you don't have heavy. Maybe you just blew your super. Well, you can whittle down these blockers and not get punished as hard. I love this. And, you know, if you're on freelance, you can be the person stopping your team from losing those moats if you so choose. They've also reworked the ammo economy, which is extremely exciting because pretty much everyone can have special and heavy. I understand that it's frustrating dying to invaders who have heavy. Or, you know, you're an invader, you go in and you get wrecked by some other heavy. Well, if it's an even playing field and everyone has it, everyone can abuse it and use it, then I don't see as much of a problem. It's still going to be annoying. People are still going to use heavy and it's, it's you know... It's a little bit one-sided, uh, or one-dimensional, I should say. But at least you have the counter. At least you have the ammo as well. Right now, someone picks up a heavy brick, goes and invades, and you're screwed because you haven't found any yet. So I actually really like that. Uh, killing high-value targets can give you some uh, ammo as well. And the regular enemies won't spawn any unless you're using ammo finders. So yes, you could get lucky with the ammo finders, but... Everyone is still going to have heavy. I don't think it's going to be too, too bad. I'm very excited about this. Now, with changes to the Primeval fight, this is going to change up the game quite a bit. I'm not sure if people are going to love it or hate it, but they did add a bit of an HP gate where at 30% uh, damage, you can't do any more damage. You have to kill some uh, envoys, and then you can come back and fight. They've also moved the envoys further away. They shield the boss. You really have to deal with them. You can send teams to different parts of the map. It's not going to be right by the boss, so it's going to be a bit of a different experience overall. Um, they said that they don't want you burning down the boss instantly, and there's no chance at outplaying the other team or invading and stopping it. And I understand it. I understand it. Uh, I think they've added a lot of catch-up mechanics here. I don't know how much I love Gambit, period, and I don't know if this makes it better or worse for me. I'm sure I would like it about the same. Uh, it always kind of feels like a chore to me, but I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the, the kind of time-gating or HP-gating of the boss? People hate that in the Nightfall with the Mindbender, you're right? I, I remember people farming that shotgun and they hated that, but maybe it's a little bit different in a game mode where you're fighting other people and trying to invade. I'll see what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, this is a good change, though. The Malfeasance quest, just all you have to do is fight a boss, kill a boss, and you can start the Malfeasance quest. It's about time. People can get that gun however and whenever they want. Invasions are going to be toned down a little bit because of the moats that you lose on death being halved. I think that that's pretty big. But now there's an invasion at 40 moats and 80. And if you don't use it, you lose it. Uh, so this is actually really interesting to me because... Uh, you know, there are situations where you can almost blow past that 
uh, if everyone's got like 15 moats or something like that. Um, but I I'm excited to see it. But the big thing is invaders are getting nerfed. If you're aiming down sights with your sniper, you can't just have aimbot, or not aimbot, but like wall hacks and see where they are. If you aim down sights with a sniper, if you're trying to lock on with a rocket launcher, the name plates, the, the characters actually go away. You can't see them through walls anymore, which I think is very, very good. Um, I, I think it'll just add a little bit more evasion outplay potential because right now invaders feel op especially with some of the heavy uh that's in the game you might be behind, behind cover and they just shoot a 1k uh a, a thousand voices and kill you or, or a rocket launcher nearby well maybe you left maybe you jumped away and and, and you know they're not going to be able to do it so i'm excited about that and uh you also can't see how many emotes players have so you can't just hunt down the player with 15 someone with one moat come you know might come rushing at you and you're going to have to deal with it because you don't know exactly. And, you know, a threat is a threat. You might have to deal with them. So I'm excited for those changes. I think that it's going to make the invasion not as oppressive. And I'm all for it. Will it have less impact on the game? It might. But for right now, I think invasions are kind of annoying. I, I don't personally like them. And then with the rewards, some old stuff is going. We've got all this stuff. You can also focus your engrams and kind of choose what you want here uh, using Glimmer and Legendary Shards, which is really cool. If there's an awesome role in the SMG that you're hunting down, you can do it. Maybe you just want some armor pieces to fill out some slots and get some high stat rolls. That's really, really cool. Uh, there's nothing too, too special here, but they kind of said this is going to be the norm. Right, we've already seen it for the Crucible, um, or, or sorry, Trials. They want stuff like this for everything. It's got to be a staple moving forward, and we're just kind of waiting for it to happen. And then, you know, there's there's a couple little things down here that I thought were really interesting. They want to do Gambit Labs, right? Kind of like Trials Labs, but these actually look kind of fun. So they have one called the Invasion Swap, where you putting in moats opens the invasion portal for the other team. So you almost have to strategize. Do we want to get an invader potential right now or not? And the other one here, Moat Thief. The longer you stay alive, without even killing anyone, just staying alive, you drain moats. So you might not want to fight. You might want to go invis and hide in the corner behind a bunch of enemies, right? That is cool to me. I like that. Honestly, I think it'd be more fun doing that anyways. They talked about trials, talked about adept reward changes coming for season 17, and they really hint at season 17 being a big thing. Big change is coming. Um, we hope our 17, uh, season 17 plans will spark joy for everyone. Okay. Okay. Let me know. You show me. You show me then. I'm excited. Um, they did some other stuff talking about ritual rewards and, and just like how uh, if you're playing Gambit, you want to get Gambit gear. If you're playing Crucible, you want to get Crucible gear, and not just the world drops, right? It, it just feels like you're getting random trash in your inventory you don't really want, and uh, I'm all for those changes. Showing off some new armor there. Uh, nothing to the Eververse. They just showed off this badass armor as well. Looks pretty damn cool. Now, the Season Pass changes are actually pretty damn good. You can get some high stat armor. They used to do that in the seasons before. They'd be like a 66 roll or a 67 roll overall armor. Sometimes it would be a good stat distribution. Sometimes it wouldn't. But they're adding that back in as almost a guaranteed way to get back into the game and get a decent armor set going. I'm all for it. They've also juiced up uh, the legendary engrams and made them umbral-focused engrams. So you can actually get you know, something good that's new and exciting. I'm all for it. They just beefed up everything. The season pass just sounds better. The armor scroungers, the weapon scroungers, they just work everywhere. You don't have to go into Gambit to get that brand new auto rifle. You play whatever you want. You get the gear. I'm all for it. They added some extra rewards here and there. Bingo, bango, bongo. It looks good. They nerfed the thrall way in the Shattered Throne. It's gone. And boss stomps got nerfed. Well, lower death chance from getting stomped, getting knocked into objects, getting yeeted across the map. I'm all for it. Maybe shotguns just got a secret buff in this patch. I'm all for it. Uh, and then there's some Steel Series stuff, and that's pretty much it. There is a new Twitch bounty, so make sure to check out the Twitch, twitch.tv slash mtash. Be there day one. I'll be there day one. You can gift some subs or don't. I don't care. I'm just going to be making content no matter what. But there is a new uh, bungee bounty thingy for that. So that's it. That's pretty much everything.
Those are the main things I want to talk about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.